You know who's not letting the topic of name, image, and likeness go? Jimbo Fisher. He's still talking. Jimbo Fisher was uh, asked about Nick Saban. See, I threw you off your game right now. Well, no. you're, off, you're off your game. You're out of questions. <laughs> not, definitely not out of questions. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So, so how does that change the... It doesn't guess change the, anything. Because I know the truth. And I've always known the truth. That's why... I, then that's why, why would he I, make that accusation? I have to ask him. Again. Uh, just let me handle it. Why would he make that accusation, though? If, if it's... Why did, you, why did you make that accusation? I didn't make any accusations. <laughs> I don't know. You have to ask him. Okay. Um... Everybody wants clarification here. Name, image, and likeness. Are you getting those deals before you get to school? Um, Okay, this is what Jimbo Fisher, Texas A&M head coach, had this to say about how many of his recruits that he signed have a name, image, and likeness deal before they even get to campus. I keep saying this about recruiting, and I just researched this. Of the 11 guys we have in in place that came early, one guy has an NIL deal. Really? Yes. Just one? Just one. So all these stories you're hearing are complete lies. Okay, that's on paper. Because my follow-up question would be, um, any deals in place, Coach? Verbal deals? Yeah, more. And he said the kids that came in early, so the kids that came in in January. So what about the rest of the kids that come in, you know, in September and August? Okay, we're dealing with semantics here. This is from my, uh, one of my college football sources. You don't sign multiple five-star defensive linemen that everybody in the country wants without the bag. Money. Big money. They need to stop talking. There will be players who left at A&M in ba- Alabama that will run off and start talking. That's what happened with SMU when SMU got the death penalty. Here is Jimbo Fisher calling out a reporter. I'm asking you, did you, re- did you do your research? Uh, you just no, did. no. So you can't answer. So you just assumed. And that's the way this world goes now. As soon as it's written on social media and someone says it, you believe it. So where does that put you as guys as reporters? Where does that put coaches like Nick Saban who know better, is that, if, if that's the case? I, 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 I. Where does that put reporters at? So you're defending Nick Saban? No, I'm just crazy. I'm asking you guys to okay. put it out in the media. I'm a, I, I just, just hold on. I ain't getting into this. Oh, no, no, no. I, I understand. But I just want to... Is this change? It's because social media and media put it out. I got it. Jimbo Fisher needs to just stop talking. Okay. Nick Saban made a mistake. He did. Because he was keeping it in in house, he thought. I don't think he was wrong in what he was saying, but he's wrong to call out Deion Sanders or Jimbo Fisher. But what he's saying to his boosters, businessmen, is we need to do what they did. That's all. But he said that Jimbo Fisher bought all of his recruits. If he would have said they took advantage of the name, image, and likeness loophole, and they did it better than anybody, then it's a compliment. But Jimbo Fisher is like, oh, this is about integrity, and he's calling me out, and you know we should look into his closet. If Jimbo Fisher would come on this show, I'd say, Coach, you were with him for four years at LSU. Walk me through some of this stuff that happened. And his phone line's breaking up. How did you pay players at LSU, coach? I, I did Well, Nick Saban took four years off and didn't do it? Help me understand it. You were with him. Now, you, you keep saying you don't lie, so just tell me the truth. None of these kids have any name, image, and likeness deals in place right now. Right? He has four, four five-star recruits. And as my source said, I'll read it to you again. He just sent it to me. You don't sign multiple five-star defensive linemen that everybody wants without big money. They need to stop talking. Nick Saban should never have called out Jimbo Fisher and Deion Sanders the way he did. If you want to say, this, these are the rules, this is the loophole, let's take advantage of this. We don't like to be second to anybody. And we won't be second to Texas A&M. But Jimbo Fisher... How about we win something first here? Because it feels like he's Alabama and Nick Saban is Texas A&M. I like it, the back and forth. But Jimbo Fisher, unless he wants to be the victim and and play the victim, he's doing a great job there. Like, hey, he's calling us out. Okay, all right. He's calling you out. 
By the way, DraftKings gave me the uh, the betting line for the game in October in Tuscaloosa. It's Alabama by 16 and a half over AM. Yes, Seaton. Don't you think there's a bunch of college coaches right now who are like, yo, chill, Jimbo. Okay, point made, but you took it too far. I know. Chill, I know. chill out. He's all fired up. Yeah, narcissist. Gonna have to ask him. Yeah. I like it. I mean, it, it's it's good fodder for us. But but let me let me just play this one more time, where uh, you know the reporter and uh, and Jimbo go back and back and forth. This is why did Nick Saban make the accusation? See, I threw you off your game right now. Well, no. you're, off, you're off your game. You're out of question. <laughs> not, definitely not out of question. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So, so how does that change the? It doesn't change the, anything. Because I know the truth. And I've always known the truth. That's why. I, then that's why would why he I, make that accusation? Have to ask him. Again. Uh, just let me handle it. Why would he make that accusation, though? If if it's why did you make, why did you make that accusation? I didn't make any accusations. <laughs> I don't know. You have to ask him. All righty. They're all invited. Love to have them on. Since everybody's telling the truth, then uh, should be fun interview. The SEC is discouraging them from doing interviews. Yeah, Seaton. Is that like a huge sigh in the middle when he goes, "Let me handle this." And I somebody goes. That- <gasps> I think that might be the sports information director who's probably trying to tamp this down yeah. a little bit here. Because when we called Alabama and they're like, no, we don't want coach to go down that road. Yeah, Todd. Yeah, because that's the job. They have to protect them and say, any more questions about the upcoming season? <laughs> He's got to go. Coach has to go. <laughs> well, you hear that gasp. Oh, handle it. <gasps> <laughs> yeah, Paul. And we try to have Lane Kiffin on and the SEC asked him to not do interviews. I think that's the SEC's overall problem is Let's not start airing our stuff. We're, we're in the position of we protect each other. It's almost like the NFL mm. owners, the SEC teams. They don't call each other out. They call out other schools. 